Welcome to Cheers to Progress podcast, where we discuss strategies and share empowering messages to help you improve every area of your life and move you closer towards your goals. I'm your host, Duska Light, and this is episode five and also the third part of the series on how to support your metabolism and weight loss. Today, I'm going to share with you a little bit of science, but most importantly, practical tips on how to improve your metabolism by optimizing your growth hormone levels. This episode is sponsored by Z-Gym. If you're someone who has a very busy life, doesn't have time to go to the gym and yet wants to get into a really good shape in the comfort of your own home, then you need to check out Z-Gym. ZGym is an online fitness club with over 1500 follow along video workouts from beginners all the way to advanced. We have more than 50 different workout series, guided programs, mobility sessions and more. The workouts in the ZGym are short but incredibly effective for burning fat and creating a strong and athletic body. You're going to feel like a badass if you sign up for Z-Gym because Z-Gym can really deliver amazing results. But obviously, it's all about staying consistent. So if you decide to show up for yourself and dedicate those 15 to 30 minutes a day to Z-Gym exercise, then I'm telling you that you will see great progress in just a few months. Sign up for Z-Gym at zuzkalight.com. That's Z-U-Z-K-A-L-I-G-H-T dot com. Before we start, allow me to share a disclaimer. Nothing that I say in this podcast is to be taken as a medical advice. I'm not a doctor, so make sure to talk to your physician before you start changing your lifestyle or taking any supplements. So let's talk about HGH or human growth hormone. It is a very important hormone produced by your pituitary gland in the brain that plays key role in growth, cell repair, body composition and metabolism. When the growth hormone is released into the bloodstream, it starts affecting all kinds of tissues, including muscles, fat, bones, ligaments, cartilage and so on to increase metabolism. Growth hormone also acts on the liver to stimulate IGF-1 production. Many of the effects associated with growth hormone are actually more directly related to IGF-1 hormone. But for the purpose of this episode, I will mostly use the term growth hormone. So most of us grow up with normal levels of growth hormone and experience a major decline as we get older, especially as we approach our 40s. This is one of the reasons uh, we might accumulate more body fat and experience issues with fat loss, slower recovery from workouts, but also injuries and slower metabolism. That's why having low growth hormone levels may decrease your quality of life increase your risk of diseases and make you gain fat. And um, studies have shown that having optimal levels of growth, growth hormone is important for muscle growth, fat loss, strength and exercise performance, as well as having the ability to recover faster from injuries and diseases. There are several ways to increase and optimize your growth hormone levels naturally. And there's also the exogenous or external way to increase these levels, which has been surrounded by controversy. For one, professional athletes are banned from using HGH because it's a performance enhancing drug and yet growth hormone have been one of the most abused drugs among professional athletes because we don't have a reliable test for it yet. Growth hormone therapy has been also commonly used in longevity clinic to decrease body fat and improve body composition, to improve uh, muscle and bone density as well as workout performance and recovery. There have been some claims about growth hormone being able to increase longevity, but it hasn't been really supported by the science. 
There are also some studies and speculations that long-term use and supplementing, supplementing with human growth hormone might increase the risk of cancer and heart disease and decrease actually lifespan. So we don't really know for sure what long-term supplementation of growth hormone can do to us. We just know that it brings a lot of benefits short term. Um, now, that's not to say that growth hormone is bad, because as we age, we could all benefit from boosting the natural production of HGH. But doing it in a natural way seems to be the better path rather than via supplementation. However, there are some people that need the growth hormone therapy. And in that case, it is still recommended not to go overboard and only get low doses just enough to increase the HDH to the normal healthy levels because it's more the abuse of this drug that than anything else that seems to have the detrimental effect on one's longevity. The most well-known expert on longevity, David Sinclair, always suggests to try to raise the levels of HGH naturally first. And I think we can all agree with that approach. So that said, here are some of the strategies to increase your growth hormone levels naturally. So the first strategy is don't eat a lot before bedtime because your body naturally releases significant amount of HGH at night. But if you have high levels of insulin and blood sugar because you had a big late dinner, then that will block the release of growth hormone. Insulin levels normally decrease two to three hours after eating. So you may want to avoid eating two to three hours before you go to go to bed, especially carbs and protein. Strategy number two, exercise at high intensity. Strenuous exercise is one of the most effective ways to significantly raise your growth hormone levels. The types of workouts we do in the Z-Gym are a perfect example of high intensity training that can spike your HGH levels and maximize fat loss. And other high intensity exercise includes weight training, circuit training, sprints or interval training. Strategy number three is sauna. Studies have shown that 30 minutes of, of sauna causes big spikes of IGF-1 and uh, human growth hormone levels. Uh, strategy number four is intermittent fasting. It seems to be a great way to boost your growth hormone levels. And there are many ways to fast. You can fast for a couple days um, if you feel up to it. Um, or you can do the eight hour eating window, 16 hour fast. Now, strategy number five is to optimize your sleep and meditate because studies have shown that Poor sleep can reduce the amount of HGH um, your body produces. And growth hormone is released every night when you go to sleep during the first part of the night when you get into the deep sleep, which is also known as the slow, uh, slow wave sleep when delta brainwave activity is the highest. And the largest release of growth hormone usually happens before midnight. So in general, it's quite beneficial to get some sleep before midnight instead of being a night owl. Um, the good news is that we can also get into the slow wave brain state via meditation during the day and spike our growth hormone production in the meditative state. Um, the bad news is that it's kind of hard to tell if you're in the delta state during your meditation. 
I would love it if there was a device for home use for consumers like us that would be able to tell us exactly what brainwave we're in during our meditation. I only came across headbands that tell you that you're either relaxed or not relaxed and that to me is not very helpful. I want to know what my brain is actually doing when I'm meditating. So if you guys come across a device like that, please let me know because I'd love to test it. Um, so strategy number six, reduce your sugar and carb intake to avoid big spikes in blood sugar and insulin levels. These spikes in blood sugar can effectively flatline the increase of growth hormone production. So keep that in mind, especially before bedtime and before and during your high intensity workouts. You don't want to sabotage these um, precious natural spikes of growth hormone with sugar and insulin spikes. Strategy number seven, try supplements such as arginine and GABA that help to increase the natural growth hormone production. But make sure to talk to your doctor before you take any supplements because you never know. It might it might mess with your health or your medications. So just be careful with it. Um, now, what is GABA? GABA is a non-protein amino acid that functions as a neurotransmitter that has a calming effect on your brain and central nervous system. It can also help to, um, it can help you to sleep better. There's a study that found that taking GABA supplement led to a 400 increase in HGH production at rest. So what I'm thinking is that if you take GABA and then go meditate, it has a calming effect on your mind that it might help actually with meditation and the combination of these two strategies might support the release of growth hormone even more. That's just an idea. Um, now, arginine supplement has been known to boost HGH production and there are various supplements on the market that even combine arginine with other natural ingredients to maximize the effect and help with fat reduction and muscle building. However, studies have shown that arginine is not effective when taken around exercise. It's the higher doses of arginine taken during rest or not around exercise that have been shown to improve growth hormone production. So there you have it. To sum it up, having optimized levels of growth hormone and taking the natural ways to increase the growth hormone production on a daily basis is a great way to improve your, the quality of your life, improve your metabolism, uh, improved body composition, increased muscle and bone density, and have the ability to recover fast from your workouts as well as any injuries and diseases. And if you're someone that has to use growth hormone therapy because your body doesn't seem to be creating enough growth hormone the natural way, then make sure to talk to your doctor about the dosage so that you don't go uh, overboard, so that you don't overdo it. Stick to the natural healthy levels. More is not better in this case. Better is better. So I hope that these tips were helpful. Make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any future episodes with more tips and advice from me and my guest experts. And cheers to progress. <laughs>